Yeah. So we will discuss. So today we are going to discuss about FRM. We are at uh, Actuators Educational Institute. We also teach FRM. Every details can be. Uh, I will tell you all the details once we will just finish the webinar. If you all want to know, so FRM is a certification. It's not a degree. It's a certification which is globally recognized and it is given by an institute a by institute called as garp which is based in uh, new which is based in new jersey so you can just check it from net i will leave i will even show you over here and it is about uh, and uh, it will just give you a comprehensive training in risk management equipping individuals with knowledge and uh, skills to identify assess and uh, mitigate various financial risks so it is completely uh, it will just tell you everything about risk management and uh, you will get a fair idea before starting any job you will have a fair idea about risk management and it will even land you to a good uh, to a very good number of jobs like you can see in world there are around 87000 plus professionals who have completed their fr certification so this is very much in uh, need nowadays because there are many companies who want to do risk management and everything so people so many students who are doing this frm and they are even doing it before starting any jobs so you all can consider it now where uh, after doing frm where or uh, at which places can you get the job let us just discuss about it if if you all have any doubts you can just stop me in between and ask me i will just clear it <coughs> so yes banks uh, there are many banks like city bank hsbc icici bank these are the banks which hire frms in a huge number in india then uh, there are many consulting firms like deloitte pwc kpm kpmg kpmg is not mentioned here but i personally know that uh, there is a heavy demand of frms over there and they even offer a decent package of around 7 to 8 lakhs if we see in kpmg or pwc then there are many asset management companies which uh, they which hire frm to analyze the market trends and identify risks and uh, to optimize their investment strategies uh, such companies are blackrock and there are many more mentioned over here like you can see bank of america bank of china blackrock B bnp paribas city group city group there are many other companies you can just check it over here i will just wait for two minutes and if you all have any doubts you can ask me you can just check over here even rbi is taking frms nowadays and if you all have any doubts then also you can just connect with me right now only and even after the session you can connect with me I'll just wait for one minute. You can just go through the companies and then we will go ahead. Uh, any doubts? If, uh, if anyone has any doubts, you can ask me. Okay, I think no doubts. So so the average package which you can expect as a fresher after uh, completing frm is around 6 it will start from uh, ina 6 lakhs per annum and then it can range to 10 lakhs per annum and i have even seen there are freshers who have just completed their bcom degree and they are getting a job of around 15 lakhs 15 lakhs in companies like Barclays, BCG, they are offering a very good package. If you just crack the interview, you are going to uh, you are going to get a very good job. And the roles which you will get are risk risk analyst, portfolio manager, equity analyst, CRO. Now, now reaching such uh, roles is a tough task. You need to have a good experience. Like if you want to become a CRO, you need a good experience of around 10 to 15 years in the risk management field. But um, but 
for freshers risk analyst uh, is the risk analyst equity analyst and there are many people who are risk reporting they can also do it who are into risk reporting just a minute there is one doubt what about doing frm with actual signs would it be a lot of study load or it can be managed i think i will just take this doubt uh, after some time once i will just complete then you will ask me about about actuaries and frm i will just clear this doubt once uh, we are done with uh, this webinar is it okay like in the end i will take up all such questions yeah okay Dikshit. so there are uh, there is also a role of financial controller now this is also a role which you can get a fresh you get get as a fresher then risk transfer specialist now this will require a uh, good experience of around four to five years and there are many other roles like market risk analyst credit risk analyst liquidity risk analyst operational risk analyst but for getting these roles you need to clear both the levels of frm because uh, level one is a uh, basic level two is a uh, uh, level two will it will go in more depth and it will it will um it will give a more uh, detailed knowledge so level two is very important now what are frm professionals uh pro frm certified professionals doing so there are some people who are working as an auditor some are chief information security officer then uh, chief risk officer but uh, again as i told you that if you want to get such kind of roles you need a good experience if you will have a good amount of four to five years of experience and you are working well in your field uh, then i think you can reach this goal easily then compliance manager compliance officer data specialist environment compliance specialist environment compliance will is a uh, more into scr so there is one more course uh, which is given by fr by uh, garp only that is scr so this is into climate risk management if you will do that course then you can even do this uh, even you can even uh, get this kind of roles then this is information security risk manager something like uh, cyber risk management then model risk management regulatory affairs manager then risk analyst risk and compliance investigator risk manager again technology and cyber security risk manager and treasury man manager treasury manager means uh, someone who is going to manage all the liquidity and uh, cash and everything now what is the criteria what is the eligibility criteria and exemption uh, when you have to do the frm so any student who has cleared 12th standard can can uh, give the exams of frm level 1 and level 2 what i suggest is um, if you are into first year of your college and you want to pursue this course then it is the best time to do it because uh, after bcom you have to find a job and then uh, you will not get so you will not get such a good job but once you will complete your bcom your graduation like whatever you are doing bcom bba whatever and you have a frm certification in hand and some papers of uh, actuaries are cleared even if you are not doing actuaries and you are just doing your graduation and you have a frm certification you will get a decent job of uh, something around seven to eight lakhs and this is a this is something which we are seeing right now this is a package which we are seeing right now but uh, after two or three years this will also increase to nine to ten lakhs if you have potential and you have a uh, you have uh, done the preparation for your exams nicely and you have complete knowledge you can get a job easily people are uh, literally searching for frms nowadays so this is a very good course and in uh, ifoa what i told you just before starting the session that there is an exemption for sp0 paper if you have completed frm and uh, after clearing both the levels you also need to have an experience of two years then you are going to get a frm certification before uh, completing like if you will complete both the levels and you have no work experience 
then you will not get the certification you will get a job easily after completing both the levels but if you need that certificate then you need to have a good experience of 2 years in field of risk management I think I am clear over here. If anyone has any doubt, you can ask me. Like you will need a relevant work experience of two years, and you have to submit that experience to GARP. They will just check your experience, and then they will courier your certificate to you. Now, why should you do FRM? I have already cleared this thing, but again. uh frm is the best course for any individual who wants to build a career in risk management domain and nowadays risk management is needed by every company every company is going to have their own department of risk management where around 40 to 50 professionals would be hired and uh, and they mostly hire the professional who have a certification of frm because frm is a very need is a very uh, needed certificate nowadays even if uh, like even if you are working then also to get a promotion you will need a certification known as frm which we are discussing right now so you need to clear this you need to have this certificate in hand to get a job in risk management now how to get this certification so there are two levels two parts first is part 1 second is part 2 you have to clear both the parts and then you need a relevant work experience of around 2 years and then you will get this designation uh, which is like this and you will just get get uh, this kind of batch and a certificate which will be which will be coming from institute only it will come to your home directly they will just courier you but to like uh, if we are completing any degree like if i am a prisha if i am a frm then i need to uh, i need to add the designation with my name so if i want to add the designation then i will need a uh, two years of uh, work experience if i don't have it i cannot add that thing and uh, uh, and uh, to pass both the levels of frm uh, for the part 1 you are having a uh, mcq both are mcq papers only both part 1 and part 2 are mcq for part 1 you will need uh, you will uh, get 100 mcqs and for part 2 you will get a uh, mcq of uh, you will get a total of 80 mcqs in your paper and for both the exams for both the exams the duration will be 4 hours you have to solve the paper in 4 hours there will be no negative marking there is no negative marking and uh, the results are completely based on how you are performing in compared to others and uh, you are going to get a quartile of 1 2 3 or 4 in each paper yeah, like uh, in uh, if uh, if uh, part 1 has 4 uh, books part 1 has 4 books so you need to get a quartile of 1 or 2 in all the books so that you in order to pass this uh, this is not told by gar but this is something which we assume that we need to get a score of something around 1 first quartile or second quartile because 3 and 4 are not considered as good but even there are some people who are getting 1 1 1 in 3 books and then if they get a quartile of 4 in last book then they will pass the exam but if you are getting a quartile like 3 2 3 4 then you are not going to pass so you need to study decent you need to study in a decent way which we at our institute already teach that how you have to do and how you have to tackle the things so that you can clear in the very first attempt for part 2 also the same thing will apply like randomly if uh, if someone will ask me that uh, how many questions do we need to get correct in order to pass so it is a score of around 55 to 60 in part 1 and in part 2 around 45 to 50 if you are getting a score of around 45 to 50 just a minute then you will pass then you will pass nicely yeah now like how in how much time can you complete your frm given that you clear both the levels in your very first attempt so you can like you can start in july it's uh, not july but like right now if you start in just a minute
yeah like if you will start in uh, if uh, right now we are at november and uh, you can aim to target uh, level 1 in may you can give your level 1 exams in may level 1 exams in may 2025 and then once you are going to give the exams and you are sure that you will surely clear the exams then you can just after giving the exams you can take a one week break and then you can again appear for your level 2 in uh, november 2025 and and in one or one and a half year you can complete the whole course given that you are studying seriously and you are clearing both the levels in first attempt you can clear the course in around one to two years and i won't recommend that after completing part 1 you take a gap of around one or two years and then start with part 2 because both the levels are interrelated and uh, you need to and you need to have the knowledge of level 1 to clear level 2 so as soon as you are completing level 1 you should just appear for level 2 so that uh, you don't uh, uh, you don't forget everything yeah now this is again the same things frm part 1 and part 2 exams are uh, are held uh, thrice in a year that is may august and november and i recommend that you should mostly give your exams in may or in november august exams are little tough so if you are very much well prepared then only go for august exam or just uh, defer it to november or give it in may right now if you will start your preparation you can surely prepare in may prepare for may exams part 1 requires a preparation uh, uh, um preparation of around 5 to 6 months and uh, i think till may we are having 6 months still in our hands so you can start your preparation we are going to start our new batches from 15th of november for both part 1 and part 2 part 1 comprises of 62 chapters and part 2 comprises of 103 chapters uh, i will just let you know what all books are there yeah like uh, this is a frm this is about frm part 1 part 1 has four four parts first is a uh, valuation and risk models this is about uh, this is about valuing and uh, valuing and making the risk models and everything about uh, about the subject is going to be taught in this book and this is a very important book this covers around 30% of your syllabus from 100 marks 30 marks are going this will this will take 30 marks and then there comes foundations and risk management this will uh, this is a completely theoretical book and uh, uh, and i only teach book 1 and it covers a portion of around 20% from the whole paper then there is one thing known as uh, one subject known as quantitative analysis this will be taught by shivangi ma'am and uh, and uh, this is uh, this also comes for around 20% in exam and then this is about markets everything about markets will be taught in this book this is the book 3 and this again comprises of 30% so there are two big books that is book 3 and this is book 4 that is valuation and risk model and then this is book 1 and this is book 2 so for uh, all the four books we have different faculties book 1 is taught by me book 2 is taught by shivangi ma'am book 3 is taught by vandita ma'am and book 4 is taught by uh, adarsh sir he is also a cfa and frm then vandita ma'am is a qualified actuary and shivangi ma'am is also a qualified actuary and uh, there are other faculties also you can just visit our website to see the faculties and uh, this is the this is a uh, first level and it requires a preparation of around 200 hours and uh, daily if you will do if you will give a time of around 2.5 hours to 2 hours then you can complete the course in 3 to 4 months but we suggest that you should start early so that uh, you can just start studying with 1 1 hours and then gradually increase it to 2 or 3 hours a day 
नाउ एफ आर एम पार्ट टू एफ आर एम पार्ट टू कम्प्राइजेज ऑफ टोटल फाइव बुक्स फर्स्ट इज ऑपरेशनल बुक ऑपरेशनल रिस्क एंड रेजिलियंसी दिस इज अ कम्प्लीटली थियोरेटिकल बुक दिस इज अ कम्प्लीटली थियोरेटिकल बुक एंड इट इट कम्प्राइजेज ऑफ अराउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ आर होल सिलेबस देन क्रेडिट रिस्क मैनेजमेंट दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बुक इन द होल इन द होल होल करिकुलम एंड इट कम्प्राइजेज अगेन ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द होल पेपर एंड देन वी हैव मार्केट रिस्क दीज बोथ बुक्स आर प्रैक्टिकल मोर ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल पोर्शन इज देर this also comprises of 25% then you have liquidity and treasury measurement this is a small book and a very easy book anyone can do it easily and it will comprise of 15% of our of the whole syllabus and then there is a current issues which uh, which is 10% and there is one more book which i think here they have not mentioned one more book is investment risk investment risk that they also that is also there in the portion this is also something around 15% of our whole syllabus and then uh, part 2 will require a duration of 250 to the a total duration of uh, 250 to 300 hours for the whole preparation and you can give 2 to 3 hours and uh, if you want to prepare for part 2 you need more time and uh, like more amount of uh, more amount of months to study and complete the syllabus so we recommend like i personally recommend a preparation of 7 months 6 to 7 months something around that if you will prepare well prepare well you can clear the exam now what is the fees and uh, what is the fees associated uh, in completing this certification <coughs> uh, now these are the fees which is charged by garp and there will be uh, if you take a uh, coaching then you need to pay separately for that <coughs> so there will there is there are two types of batches first is early early bird and second is standard so if you will go for standard payment you need to make more payment for giving the same exam so it's better that we go in this early payment uh, early bird batch where you need to pay little early i think for may you need to pay before jan or feb you can just check on the website or i will only let you know once i am not sure right till now i have not checked the dates but i think it is till end of january that you can register for level 1 and the fees associated for level 1 is around 83000 the enrollment fees is 33200 and exam fees is 49800 so if you are appearing for level 1 for the very first time then you need to pay 83000 but in any case in any case you are not able to clear not able to clear if you are not clearing level 1 in the first attempt then you again need to pay a exam fees then you don't need to pay enrollment fees but you need to again pay your exam fees and that will be always 49800 only for exam fees you don't need to see whether it's early bird or standard you need to pay your 49800 again if you are not clearing the exam in the very first go and for standard the charges will increase to 99600 so it's um uh it is a very big gap between both the early early registration and standard registration that's why we suggest everyone to go for early registration which will i think end by january for level 1 and for level 2 you only need to pay your exam fees that is 49800 and uh, for standard you need to pay 66400 for level 2 you don't need to pay any enrollment fees because you already enrolled at the time of registration for level 1 now what are the pass rates for level 1 it is little uh, lesser for level 2 it is uh, little higher but uh, for 2024 may exams what i what i have noticed is this we have not added but i know about it for for 
the level one results were 56 percent and level two results were uh, 52 percent so they have increased uh, the passing percentage for level one recently you can just see the passing percentages are around 45 percent average of 45 percent for level one and for level two it is something around 56 to 58 percent Uh, this is again the past trends. You can just see, go through this uh, chart. This is from 2014 to 2023. The past rates are given. You can just check this chart. I think you all have checked and uh, for giving the exam, you will need a calculator. And I recommend that if you have this calculator of BA2+, plus, it is very much sufficient. But uh, there are other calculators also you can purchase. But this one is purchased the most by all the students. So you can just purchase this calculator. It comes for around 3,500, something around that. You can just purchase it because uh, for all the calculations, you will need this calculator. So you should have this handy always. So I am done with everything. I am done with explaining everything. Now, if you have any queries, you can ask me. Uh, anyone has any query? I think Tikshit was having one query that uh, should we pursue, can we do FRM with actuarial science? So, so Tikshit, when is your actuarial science next paper? Can I just let, can you just let me know? In April, no? so yes, you can surely prepare, you can surely go for FRM exam in May. You just need to study for... Um, two or 2.5 for 2.5 hours for frm exam and if you will do it on a regular basis and uh, side by side you are also doing your actuaries study then it is very much sufficient and you will be able to clear the exam also under our guidance even i have recently cleared it i was doing it with my job so there is not a big issue See, FRM, how is FRM different from CFA? So CFA is complete, CFA takes all, it is going to teach everything about finance. In FRM, you are not going to know everything about finance. FRM is more focused about risk management. And CFA is not only, is not focused only on risk management. CFA is, uh, CFA is going to cover all the parts of finance. It's not only uh, on risk management. So CFA is a more uh, CFA is a more wider choice if you want to go in the field of finance and you don't know that in which field you want to go, then you should pursue CFA. And if you are sure that you want to go in risk management only, then you should go for FRM. Do we study material by GARP when we enroll for the exam? Or does one have to buy it separately? See, uh, there we have four teachers, and uh, mostly I recommend that there is one book known as Kaplan Schweizer. You need to buy those books. You they they the books are easily available in market, and uh, because GARP is uh, GARP is very much into detail, and uh, Schweizer are Schweizer books are enough to pass. So we. There are few teachers who teach from the books of GARP and there are few teachers like me. I will teach you from Schweizer only. So you need to buy a book. Uh, uh, like there is a whole uh, package of four books. You need to buy it and then we can start. It doesn't cost you more. It is something around 1500 to 2000 only. Krishika was having question. Ma'am, what about the level of max in the certification? Krishika, there is not very much ma mathematics involved in it. There is only one part that is also in part one. There is one book known as Quants. It will have few chapters like uh, 
probability then there are calculations of mean calculations of standard deviation correlations hypothesis testing then machine learning and regression and time series so these are few chapters which you need to learn to go in quants but if you are if you have already cleared few papers of uh, uh actuaries then you can easily do it but even if you don't have any base of ma mathematics then also you can join the course it's not very tough even i was not having uh before joining the course even i was also not having the base of mathematics but still i got a quartile one so if you are preparing nicely and uh here we teach it nicely only so you can uh, we will teach you from base from the very basics we will teach you any any more questions yeah if anyone has any questions you can just uh, unmute yourself and then also ask me yukti has a question like to compete in job environment there are people with cfa also how can we compete while doing frm see there is no comparison between frm and cfa but there are many people who do both the degrees like uh, you can take my example only i am i have first completed frm and now i am also pursuing cfa and there is one more sir who is uh, whose name is adarsh he is also frm and the cfa both so if you are not sure that where you want to go then you can surely consider cfa also but uh, but uh, if you have a base of frm cfa will be much more easier to you because there are because around 50% of the syllabus of cfa level 1 is uh, almost same is almost very much same in frm so if you will first do frm and then go for cfa cfa would be very easy for you what is the industry package for of frm after many years of ex after uh, if you have a experience of around 3 uh, to 4 years then then you will uh, aram se get a package of around uh, something around 15 to 20 lakhs or even more than that if you are if you are already having a good experience and you are knowledgeable in the field but 15 lakhs is the minimum amount i am telling it can even go more than it can even go above 15 lakhs there are people earning uh, even 30 40 lakhs frm plus mba worth it no No FRM plus MBA, I don't tell that FRM plus CFA is completely worth it. But FRM plus MBA is not something which I would tell that you can do. You can either clear some papers of uh, actuaries and then uh, with that you can clear FRM, so it will benefit you a lot. But then MBA, I don't uh, personally recommend MBA. you can go for frm and then you can after completing frm you can complete two levels of cfa it will land you a very good job like you will not even you cannot even expect that much good package you will get how is it how it is beneficial beneficiary beneficial doing actuaries with frm in job related see actually actuaries is uh, more into insurance and in all the insurance company nowadays risk management is required everywhere whether it's bank whether it's asset management company or insurance company everyone is requiring a risk manager so if you are a actuaries and with that you are a risk manager also so you will get a very high role in your job like directly you can go into some senior manager roles or you will get you will go to the level of vice president very fast if you have frm also handy because there are many people who just do actuaries they are not knowing any anything about frm but if you will be if you will not be like them and you will be more than them then then you even companies will consider you yes ca plus yes 
yes ca plus frm advisable there are many chartered accountants who are doing frm nowadays it's a good combination it's more better than cfa and frm if you are doing ca and frm it's the best thing are you a ca yes are you a ca or are you pursuing ca okay actually but see actually is also goes well with frm ca also goes well with frm and cfa also goes well with frm so there are these three degrees with which the combination of frm will add on to your cv and you will get a good like you will have a good career if you have this certification with you anything else any any more questions ma'am if i start on jan can i give me a term then no i won't recommend i would recommend that you can start uh, you can start from december uh, december start or we are going to start fresh patches from 15th of november only so you can enroll with us for, uh, i think 15th or 19th of november so why to delay it you can just start with us right now because if you will delay it now there is a six, there is a there is a almost uh, 62 to 62 to 63 readings which you need to learn and you need to learn the concepts and level 1 is more on the practical part and level 2 is more of theory so level 1 is bit trickier than level 2 for all the students which i which uh, like whom i know so better to start it early so that uh, there won't be any problem in the end then should i give november attempt if I, yes yes if you are starting in jan then you can even appear for august if you are preparing very well and if you are a little bit afraid then you can go for november attempt six paper of actuaries plus frm then what would be the starting package starting package would be above 15 to 16 lakhs and it is completely worth it there is no doubt if you are going to do frm and you have six play papers of actuarial science cleared there is no doubt you are going to land a good land to a good job only any company will take you even we are even we are here also providing placement support so you can if you will complete frm from here you are going to get a placement support also anything else pursuing actuaries with one or two papers cleared having two months of experience and continuing it Uh, i am not able to understand your question montu can you explain me by unmuting uh when is it acha okay when is it, when it is advisable to go for frm someone is pursuing actually is one one two months experience so when do you have your next uh, actuary paper are you going to give another papers of actuaries or what how is it if you are not going to have any exam till may then you can go for frm but if you are going to appear for more papers in actuaries then we need to decide see you can anyways go for frm if you have cleared two papers you can anyways go for frm that's uh, in that i have no doubt but your exam should not clash
Anyone else? Anyone else has any doubt? Vidula, Yukti. Okay, so can we end the session now? Yeah, welcome. Welcome, Vidula. I hope you all have got everything you all have. Uh, I have answered all your questions. If there is anything else, you can again text me. I will just write my phone number over here. You can text me and then talk to me anytime. I teach book one for FRM level one and operational risk for uh, FRM level two. You can just connect with me anytime. And I, yes, yes, Yuktiya, ask. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can hear me. Yes, yes. Yeah, I was asking that uh, if we are, you know, giving uh, an attempt of actual science in April, then uh, like we are continuing to study for it, and uh, we also decide to go for FRM. So should we, yeah. you know, take a halt in actual science paper and then first give level one of FRM, or should we, you know, go for both? you should go for both the levels see you can uh, you can go for both frm level one and actuaries because actuaries ka paper will finish by i think it will finish by april and then you still have one month of preparation time to go for frm level two and simultaneously you only need to study for maximum three to four hours and other time of the day if you are not working you can you can go for both the papers if you are not working but if you are working then you should uh, keep actuaries at hold at a uh, halt and then once complete yeah, frm like, job, like you know, like i am doing job so uh, i need to you know think about it because it's like uh, i have to give either of frm or either i should go for actual paper then uh, see if you have some papers of uh, actuaries cleared then you can keep a halt at actuaries and uh, clear uh, at least one level of frm and then again pursue your actuaries and then in some time you can again go for level two like i have cleared only one paper so uh, you know Okay, only that, one how, paper. What would you, what would you suggest? As per that, then I would suggest that uh, you can you can first complete both the levels of FRM and then continue with it because FRM level two will anyways land you a good um, a good job, mm -hmm. which uh, if you will clear two or three yeah. papers of actuaries by that time you will not mm -hmm. get that good job. That much, yeah. Yeah, not so you much. can first uh, complete your FRM and then then continue with actuaries. Okay. Thank yes you. yeah welcome anything else i think everyone is uh, i think every doubt is solved so let us end the session thank you very much everyone for joining the session if you have any doubts you can connect with me and you can even connect uh, you can even uh, visit our website there every detail there all the details are given so let me just end the session now. Thank you.